Now we are going to create a landscape from scratch using Unreal Engine and OpenLAN. For that one, I'm going to use Unreal Engine 4.26. In this case, I assume you have some basic knowledge of Unreal Engine and move here and there and so on. But you don't need a deep understanding of Unreal Engine landscape system. Uh, okay, uh, first click launch. Then I'm going to create a new game. Click the game section, next. And I'm going to create a third person template. The reason is now basically I, I can put the player into the landscape and move here and there. That's the only reason. So I'm clicking next and with starter content, I don't need starter content. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, looks good. Let's give it a place. Okay. That's in the, on my desktop and let's give demo land. Yep. Yeah, looks good. And create the project right now. We have something like this and here we have the content browser. I need to go to the content and we have some stuff here. Uh, right now I'm going to create a new level. So for that one, I create file new level and I'm going to select the empty one because I'm, I'm going to start from scratch so that so then I have more control. So let's save it and uh, let's put on the content uh, directory uh, say main map. That's my name and I'm going to click save. Right now I need to install open LAN. for that one. Go to the open open LAN repository and here you have installation section and then you can follow these steps and install open LAN into your project. Right now, open land is installed into my project. Now you can see here we have open land folder inside the content directory. So then I can go back into that. So we have a core and theme section. We are going to work on the theme uh, section and I'm going to select the default and we have a default theme and I'm going to select the open land theme underscore default. And this is our landscape auto material and we're going to use this one. Before we do anything, we need to add some uh, things like skylight, uh, sun, and then some of the things. For that one, I'm creating a directional light. So I'm, I'm going to put it into the my level. And for here, I'm going to search in the search details sun. Okay, it should be an atmosphere sunlight. All right, that's cool. And then I need the sky as well. Skylight. Okay. I put it there as well and I'm gonna here we have a section called real-time capture I'm gonna put that as well right now we have something one thing more the sky atmosphere so I'll, I'll put it that into the my scene as well so that's basically it is now we have Sun on the screen and now we have nothing else okay that's that's totally fine right I'm gonna save this level before we continue, we need to do a little bit more modification. In here, you have this the my world world outline. Let's go to directional light, move it to the movable, and also the sky atmosphere, also movable, skylight, also movable. So that will make everything uh, dy lights will be dynamic. So then we can easily work uh, with the scene. Right now, I'm going to add the landscape. For that one, go to the mode section, and click the landscape option. So now you have a screen like this and for that one, we need to select the material for that one. I'm going to go to the, my content browser and now we have this our default open land theme. I'm going to select that one and then simply click this arrow icon on the material section. So it will put the uh, our open land material into the landscape system and it will start compiling things and it will take a couple of uh, minutes based on your uh, machine. So let's wait until that. Okay, now everything is compiled so we can proceed and there are some options here and I'm not going to worry about right now. I'm going to si simply click create. All right. Now we have uh, some sort of land area inside that one and it, it goes black. <laughs> so that's that totally fine. So now I'm going to go to my paint section. Here you can see on the screen we have a paint section. So here I'm going to click this auto. Uh, so there are some layers. I'm going to select the auto layer. And here we need to, here we need to create a layer info. The, just click this plus icon, and create a weight blended layer. So select any place in your in your in your content browser. I'm I'm gonna uh, select the default content section. So auto layer info. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it like this. You can change it if you want. Right. So that's it. And then it will start compiling field stuff. As you can see now, we have a landscape. And now we have the material and I can simply hit the play icon and get the player into my landscape and walk here and there. Pretty cool. Right now we need to do some sculpting. 
For that one, I'm gonna go to the sculpts section on my landscape. Just click that. And there are some tools available here. And now we're gonna start with the sculpt. So I'm gonna click that one. So now you can see the brush size here, brush size, and it will uh, default into like 2048. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. I can simply click, I, I, let's zoom out a little bit. I can simply click and start uh, sculpting. So as you can see now, the auto material comes into, into take into place. So you can see now we have, so there's a rock uh, material on the rocky section. And if you go to the top, I cannot move faster. So, so we need to increase the camera speed. So you just click the camera icon on the right and increase it to six. And that's uh, that's a sweet spot uh, I like to use. So I can easily move here and there. All right, in the top, we have some grass. So I can simply click the play button or Alt P, the shortcut. All right, then I can come here. I can see the landscape. So as you can see, we have the ground section and in between the Actually, no, we cannot see there. So there's a rock section then uh, directly. So let me jump back. Actually, let me skip. Right then. Uh, so now we did a basic sculpt. So I can uh, I can show you a little more uh, things about this. So we have the brush follow. -up. So if, if I put this into one, so I'll have like something like this. And if I put it to zero, so then it will be more like a, you know, kind of like a yeah circle look right i think you can understand the tool strength is how strength it would be like how fast it will grow things uh, like that right so this is basically the sculpt brush and there's something called smooth but before we go into smooth i'm gonna go to the noise section so basically this will add noise into the existing landscape and make some very interesting shapes uh, for that one this brush size is quite uh, high so i'm gonna reduce it to like something around thousand so i can simply Yep, do simply paint and it will uh, do some very interesting shapes and not sometimes not ideal, but you can see it's uh, it's making things so weird. I can even uh, uh, paint on the on the floor. Let me increase the brush size. So I feel uh, it feel pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> um, yep. Stop. So now uh, we have uh, some sort of landscape and it's not that uh, nice so we can smooth things so that's where the smooth brush comes in so we can click the smooth brush and i'm gonna reduce the size and i can uh, paint on the the existing one I, I can simply smooth 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 out things so it looks something nicer sometimes and you, you can play with the brush size and get some really nice uh, looking uh, yep you can do some pretty cool stuff you can blend it between and uh, you can uh, remove the sharp edges and uh, you can see it's pretty nice and another very interesting uh, brush is the erosion so basically it will uh, simply make things eroded so i can simply put it like this and uh, it will do some yeah erosion looks like but in order to see this a uh, little bit more let me increase a little quite wide and let me go up now i can simply paint it like so you can see it will erode thing so yeah basically erosion so it's it's up to you to like play with the the, the tool settings and get some very interesting look uh, and change in the brush size and you can you can get really nice uh, effects and there are some other brushes just just play around with them and then you can create very nice looking landscape right now we have something to play with <laughs> not the best landscape i made but yeah we have something pretty cool so now uh, I'm going to show you the little bit of blending options uh, in the open land. So let's uh, exit the Unreal Engine landscape system because now we, we don't need to like edit this anymore. So I'm going to click the mode button and I'm going to click the select. So let me a little bit expand this and uh, I'm going to go to my open land directory, themes, default, and this is our material open land theme default. This is not the actual material, but it's a material instance, so we can uh, customize it uh, without juggling through the nodes on the material. The pool looks decent, but we need to like improve that. So that's basically handled by the slope mask section. So I'm going to click this. By default, it's uh, minus seven the slope bias. I'm gonna uh, inc I'm gonna reduce it to like minus ten. So now you can see now everything will be rocky. So if you go to that one, everything will be considered as a slope. 
so everything will be rocky so but let's put something so let's put back to default so now we got the ground here rock it's a default thing and let me put back something like minus five so now you can see so here this section is is becoming uh, grassy looking okay and also we have some rocks section as well so you you can easily uh, blend between the, this uh, this slope bias and then get a nice look into it and also we cannot play with the sharpness so it's also like adding some softness to the edges and uh, it's quite subtle but uh, you, you can uh, easily change that right uh, i'm gonna stick with uh, minus six maybe yeah this looks nice okay uh right okay cool and then uh, we have something called mid mid range if we go to here as you can see here now we have the rock here and there's a little different uh, mid layer it's something like a soil kind of texture dark soil texture i can simply increase that one so that's called the mid range uh, i can uh, increase it to one so now you can see now there are more soil in between the rocky and the and the grass layer before we conclude i'm gonna talk about the top mask as well so height base mask so go to the bottom of this section parameter groups and there's something called uh, top mask and here i'm gonna enable this so it will uh, it will add some uh, another layer of material based on the height so this is really good for snow uh, kind of effect uh, effect so let's reduce this number maybe yeah i think like this all right two yeah something like that now you can see there's some some different material on top of the uh, yeah on the yeah on the on the rock and that's uh, it's basically sand um, sand material but of course you can change it to like no lava you name it it's up to you and that's it for this tutorial play around with these tools and try to create some awesome looking landscape bye thank you